Hello Wolfden, my name is Foltenelda and welcome back to Nova Drift. Now before we get started I want to say one quick thing. Um, in the past I have mentioned that I was hoping to at one point do something like the hull breaker build. Crash damage to targets is boosted by high speeds when crashing head on, penetrates destroy targets, stuff like that. However, um, seeing how there is still a whole lot of stuff that we have left to unlock, I think it is a bit early to actually start saying that already. Like, I want to try this build right now because it, most likely it's not going to fully work. Plus, we can't really truly focus on something if we don't know the full game just yet because there's still a whole lot left to explore and a whole lot left to learn so i think i'm just gonna stick to the whole idea of i'm gonna pick whatever sounds cool and whatever i want to try out if i encounter it in the game and that hull breaker stuff and stabilization whatever kin kinetic boost i have no idea everything it will all come in due time but for now i would say let's just get started and see where we end up today So, I do have to get back into the game a little bit because I am a bit rusty. Most definitely. Um, so, question. What would we like to do today? At least not die, that is one thing. Shouldn't be too difficult, right? I mean, it's dying. It doesn't happen often, right? Okay, so real gun we had last time. That worked amazingly well, but... Right now we got grenade deploys a highly explosive cluster grenade. Okay, that sounds good. Grenade explodes on impact or after a delay. After the initial blast, cluster explosives pepper the area. Cluster coverage scales with the grenades. Okay, I like this. At least I think. We're just gonna wait and see. Um, cluster deal 30% of base damage. Uh, number scales with grenade size. The fire between projectiles fired. Okay, well, grenades it is. So, okay, we don't have too many grenades, but, oh, that is cool. Oh, I'm, yeah. We're going to run into the same issue as before, where I'm unable to really do much against big groups of enemies. But, this looks pretty good. I'm liking the idea of this very much. I do wonder how this is going to work. I do wonder how this is going to work when there's multiple shots that we're gonna fire. Uh, anyway, engineer sentinel. Um, yeah, I don't see a breaker working right now. Um, sentinel increases shield damage resistance, shield effect radius, and shield effect power. We could go with that. Although it decreases the rate of fire a bit. Now we'll just have to wait and see. Sentinel it is, and I need to make sure that I don't get hit. I love this area of effect explosion stuff. Really nice. Although I'm gonna get myself killed real quickly if I don't pay attention to this. Okay, so... Hmm, curious. Does my... Do my grenades increase their speed with my speed? Because I think... Yeah, they definitely do. The faster I move, the faster my grenades move. The velocity increases. Okay, uh, shield halo, amp, a fragile shield which boosts thrust and weapon damage while active. Okay, maybe. I mean, more explosive damage could be nice, uh, but with my limited attack ability, I might actually want to go with halo. If I have to face a big group of enemies, this might be a very nice addition. A searing hot ring burns targets with its effect radius for 180 damage per second. Oh, we'll just have to wait and see how this is gonna work. I do like how this looks quite a bit. Okay, um, if we just take care of these guys. Like, th th this is what I mean, by the way. I move faster, and my grenades move faster. Although I do need to be careful about not actually blasting these things off the screen, because if they do, we're not gonna get anywhere. Okay, this is where my searing hot ring of energy comes in to play very nicely. Ooh, blast radius or targeting. Hmm. I or the turret. Gain the ability to assemble and deploy a rapid fire machine turret. Might be nice, but not yet. Let's go with blast radius for now. More damage. Liking the sound of that. Okay, you explode. All of you. Come on. 
Oh, I'm liking this weapon. I'm curious to see how it's going to work if we gain more power. Oh, no, don't do that kind of stuff, please. Come on. Okay, I really need... To oh, that's my shield gone. That's my shield gone. Okay. Not exactly great. But we're gonna manage. Shield effect radius. Ooh. And also shield effect power. That might be nice. Increase the damage of that, but... Hmm... We could go for this. More projectiles. <laughs> or magnitude. Mm, this is so much stuff. Um, let's go with magnitude for now. That is just a very big power boost that I like the sound of. Although I do need to get rid of these guys. Okay. Ooh, yes, cargo train. If I can destroy you, this should help out quite a bit. Um, high explosives. Very good. Oh, no, 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 no. That's... Oh, God, God, okay, oh. I'm completely losing track of where I am. This is not great, I need to level up. Um, concentrate blast, greatly reduce blast rates, but can increase blast damage. I like the... How does that work with my current weapon? Like, uh, cluster number scales with grenade size, divided between projectiles fired. It doesn't say anything about that, but... Uh, cluster... Coverage scales with the grenade's blast radius, so I don't think this is great. It does more damage, but no. Let's go with Folly. More damage and more grenades. Just blast everything. We're just gonna fire Follies of grenades at the enemy, and that should work. Just keep on doing this. Everything blows up. I'm okay with it. Okay, first boss. Can you fight against me. Oh, let's not do that, please. I mean, I like those things, but... No, come on. Okay, I need to keep moving. I need to keep moving. And avoid that. Oh, these clusters are amazing. Oh, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And you're gonna go down really easily. Oh, not as easily as with the real gun. I'll admit that, but still remotely fast. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, let's see. A firing array. Increases damage size and blast radius for the central projectile in your folly. Increases weapon projectile spread. You know, that's... Hmm. Or I could go for targeting. You know, I think I'm actually going to go with targeting for now. Because it means I can actually, with a little bit of luck get closer to actually hitting my enemies. Now, if I go with guy and slows projectiles and... Ooh. I'm not sure if that is what I want. But we'll just see. We'll see. If these things home in on enemies, I'm okay with it. Oh, that's a bit too many enemies. Come on. Too much, guys. Too much. Way too much. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Candescence deal increased burn damage. If the grenades don't destroy the enemy, hmm, or converge as two additional projectiles, improve target and increase weapon projectile spread. Uh, or I go with homing strike. I never actually went with this one. Attack with a single weapon projectile from each of your broadsides. I wonder how that works with grenades. Does that indeed fire? It leaves small, tiny grenades ba behind me. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. Don't like that. Oh, there's so much color going on over here. Too much stuff. Okay, I... I definitely need more power. Most definitely. A weapon speed or fire rate would also be quite nice right now. Um, yes, weapon velocity. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's decent enough. Okay, who's next? You guys. Perfect. If I just destroy everything with lots of explosions. Uh, I love this weapon. <laughs> I love this so much. Okay. That's too many enemies. And this is where my halo comes in handy. Absolutely. Okay, I do need to worry. Um, that almost sounds like boss music. Oh, from time to time. Okay, no, come on, get out of the way. And get these grenades in. 
Perfect. Okay, cargo train. I want that thing destroyed. Oh. Oh, bloody hell. I hate singularities so much. Um, let's see, that's even less rate of fire, but more weapon damage, more blast radius. This could work out. Okay. I'm surprised that the weapon crates don't actually... Oh, excuse me, don't do that, please. The weapon crates don't actually disappear into the singularity. I'm okay with that, but still, interesting. Okay, you guys, no, come on, come on. Oh, way too much stuff, way too much stuff. Okay, let's see, concentrated blast, calibrate. When you're not firing, improving speed and tightening weapon spread for next shot. Or increase the rate of fire. Definitely rate of fire. More grenades. It's still not a whole lot, but it's something. Okay, who's next? Anyone? Anyone want to play? Want to give me experience? Maybe. Oh, I love these explosions. Okay. I do wonder how we're going to fare against the next boss, though, because we're not exactly amazingly powerful over here. Okay. We could go for burn damage. Um, focus fire. Splinter. That could keep the chain going of explosions. If that works like that... Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Oh, I am loving this. Oh, there is gonna be explosion galore here. <laughs> okay, I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love. Okay, no, go away with those things, please. Oh, there's just so many. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. This is absolutely gonna be amazing. But I still wonder how this is going to work in the long run when I'm dealing with bosses and stuff. Because that is still gonna be an issue. Definitely. Because, yes, I have a very wide spread, and everything that gets in that is gonna be in trouble. Most definitely. Okay, if I can get inside of you. Okay, this is the big laser. If I just do this. Are you going to go? Oh, don't get inside of the laser itself, please. If I just blow up everything inside of here, how does that work? Do you like that? <laughs> oh, that's just glorious. That is way too glorious. Okay, um, increases damage, size, blast rate for your central projectile. Yeah, maybe. I have 16 rerolls, by the way. Oh my god. Um... Hmm. Uh, I am curious though. Like, that's fusillade. Uh, less blast radius and total weapon damage for projectiles. Maybe that's not great, but. And also only adds one weapon projectile. That's not too much. Um, let's go with a reroll. See what else we can get. Convergence, two extra projectiles, improves targeting. Uh, Less flossy rate of fire and total weapon projectile size, but that doesn't matter when there are explosions everywhere. Snipe is not gonna do a whole lot, so I think I'm gonna go with convergence. Just blast everything. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. Not too sure if this was great, because again, the power does go down quite a bit. Ooh, charge shots. Um. <laughs> Would this be something that I would like? I mean, it could be nice. Charge improves total damage, velocity size, and blast radius. Means I fire less, though. But it could work. If I just do that. Just bigger bullets. In general. Um, are those supposed to be in place? No, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay, what just happened? I got utterly and utterly destroyed. Oh, boy. Um, extra rerolls unlocked. At least I did unlock something. And um, don't worry, we're gonna do another run over here. I'm not gonna end the episode just yet. Uh, one reroll per game is nice. Anything else? No, not really. That was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Most definitely. Worst score ever. Goes to show I still have a lot to learn. Okay, let's see. Um, let's do that again. But this time, what are we gonna do different? I think, yes, it is fun to go with a very large minefield of explosions, but 
mm, I need to focus a little bit more on defense. Because if I get caught, that's what I'm noticing a lot recently. If I get caught by something, I often die quickly. Ooh. Uh, Vortex... Charge up and release a slow move. Yeah, we had that before. We haven't had torrent before. Deploy a close range, widespread, rapid fire lattice of energy. Uh, protect us travel in sine waves and degenerate. Uh, less thrust when firing. That sounds cool. I'm gonna go for torrent. Let's see. Ooh, that is really close range. It's more like a flamethrower, I'd say. Space flamethrower. Sounds cool. Not sure how useful it is. It means I gotta get closer to the enemies. Hmm. This might also be a short run again. Who knows? In any case, we're gonna go in. Should be good. As long as I don't die. Okay, we're nearly at a level up. Um, that makes me wonder what kind of body would we require. Uh, let's see. Hull break would improve speed, but less shield durability and, I, and less rate of fire. Hmm. We could go for Sentinel again. Or I'm just gonna go and reroll this. Um, engineer Assault. Fragile with improved weapon spread, velocity and rate of fire. Does that work with this? I'm not sure. This is already at the rate of fire of 12 per second. So... Hmm. Maybe, maybe. We're just gonna see. I'm not sure. Can I look at it right now? It's still 12 per second, so I'm not sure if that actively changes. I do like how this looks. <laughs> Freaking blue flamethrowers everywhere. Uh, we do have a little bit of reach in the long run, but hmm, we're going to have to improve. Uh, anyway, reflect temporal warp teleport to when destroyed, creating a damaging pulse on entering exit. That could get me out of trouble, though. Might be very strange to use, but I'm curious to see what it will do for me. And also, we're pink. Interesting. Okay, uh, so how is this going to work? How the hell is this going to work? I need more upgrades, definitely. But what? Do we just go for more power? Weapon size? Is that going to work? How do we get more range? Do we go for more projectiles maybe even? Okay, let's see. Uh, improved. I don't think this is what I want. No, we're going to reroll. Um, velocity, rapid fire, folly, magnitude. Magnitude sounds like a very good choice right about now. At least. I think so, yeah. It increases weapon spread a little bit. More damage. Come on. <laughs> Everything that gets close will die. Not sure how that would work with Splinter, so... I think I'm actually gonna go with Payload. Yes, it increases the rate of fire, but my rate of fire is already pretty mental. So, how? Mm, good enough. I don't really see too many differences in this case, but it works for me. Okay. Now, what do we require? I might have to look at more shieldings. Power is still decent, but I do know I have to get close. I move slower than before. Uh, these enemies stand no chance. I'm curious how the first boss is going to be. Like, this is not really that fast. Uh, charge shot, that sounds like a terrible idea. Rapid fire, no... When velocity, more damage. I think that works. Does that increase my range? It sort of looks like it does. But I'm not entirely certain about it. But I do know the first moment that I'm going to encounter one of those cargo trains. This setup is going to utterly annihilate them. Which is perfect by me. I mean, we're destroying everything in our path with this. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away with that singularity, please. Uh, don't want calibrate. Blast rates might work or volley. Um, let's project our spread though. Non-explosive weapon projectiles deal 50% of their damage as blast damage. Could that work? 
Not sure. Let's reroll, see what else we can get. Snipe's not going to work. Targeting might work? I wonder how that works in general. If we go with Guidance... Maybe, maybe. Okay. Thank you for the boss appearance. Go away with Singularity. Okay, no, no, get over Oh my god. You get destroyed. I'm okay with that. Definitely okay with that. Um, let us go with homing strike. More projectiles. No, go away. Oh, no, no, no. No. Sometimes I don't know what actually is exploding. Whether or not it's me or something else. But this looks good. Okay, you go away. Come on. Get your snake body over here. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Um, charge shot, no. Blast radius. Let's... Mm, let's see. Condescence. That might work. Burn damage in total. Or guidance. Slows projectiles and greatly improves targeting. Uh, let's go with this burn roots for now. Just more burn damage in general. And later we can work with shields. And you're dead. But we utterly destroyed that first boss. That is absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, cargo train. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's a full cargo train destroyed. And we are in power up mode right now. We're, we have the power of the rainbow behind us. We are the rainbow. Okay. Uh, so. Now with this upgrade path. We either have purge right now. Or corrosion. Um, purge is dealing crash damage to a burning enemy. Removes the burn and creates a caustic nova. We're not dealing crash damage. So. Uh, your hits apply corrosive stacks to targets which deal burning damage over time. That sounds better. It's less weapon damage though. But when an enemy affected by corrosive stack dies, it delivers its stacks to nearby enemies. Extra stacks are delivered based on the destroyed enemy's hull strength. That sounds great. That sounds really great. I'm gonna go with corrosion. Yup. Oh, and we have even more upgrades. Um... Purification. Gain increased burning damage and duration. Regain flat hull and shield for each burning enemy. Less. It is less weapon damage. But on the other hand, we are really strong right now. This could actually... If, it in, if its flat hull strength recovered for each second of a burning enemy, if we burn everything around us, this is going to be amazing. Or so I hope. So purification it is. Less damage, but... We should be okay, right? Aw, oh, we lost our purple. Or uh, the rainbow. We lost the rainbow power. But we should be okay. Okay. You don't get a chance to fire. Uh, that was a cargo train, if I'm right. I want something else. Let's see. Um, perch, no. Uh, did, did purification unlock anything? Don't think it did. No, I can't see that over here if it unlocked anything. Um... Let's go with rapid fire. Might not be too much, but might also be something. Okay, there we go. Come on. We got a rainbow power back. <laughs> loving the boost. Absolutely loving this. Okay, what's next? Everything is just gonna die. I'm just gonna go around in circles. Oh. I'm not sure how oh, useful that is. I... I need to work with shields. I need to work with shields. Um... Splint could work. Warpath. Gain a stacking buff to rate of fire and speed when you kill enemies. That might work. I'm not entirely sure if siege weaponry is going to be something like you take ramping hull damage when you fire your weapon. I want to fire this thing constantly to be powerful. So, uh, not sure if this is what I want. Also not sure if that is what I want. But Warpath itself. Uh, total fire... Uh, more rate of, of, of total fire and thrust for each stack up to 30%. That sounds nice, so let's just stick with that one. How high can we get with that? <laughs> Not sure. I do know I'm gonna have to look at more power soon and more shields because my shield's really not good. We haven't had our shield activate just yet, which is not too bad, actually. But still. Oh, nothing stands a chance over here. No, go away, go away. Great. Okay, let's see. Um, shield effect radius. Uh, not sure. It is the temporal warping buff. We haven't had that happen just yet, so... Might this work? 
Improved targeting on enemies. Maybe. But globally, damage increases as your speed does. That's not for me. No. Let's see. Can I get something else? Uh, blast radius might be. Or convergence. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with blast radius because it, it also increases the high explosives. Yeah, let's go with that. Blast radius. So we have burn damage and all the other stuff. And after this, I might have to look into shields, yeah. I keep saying I have to look into shields, but I'm doing good. I'm doing good for as far as it's taking me. Okay, don't, no, no, don't you dare get a big explosive blast on me. That's not gonna happen, no. All right, so next boss. We're going a bit slower with this build, but it works well enough. I am curious to see if we can get into that big gear boss again. Inside, just burn everything, kill it all. Okay, this is going awesome. Okay. I need to learn when exactly these bosses appear, because right now I'm just like, okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Is it another wave? Is it another boss? What's it gonna be? I have to range stuff. Like, I can just spin around and sort of hit everything that there is, which is good enough for me. No. I think that's actually the first time I killed everything in a wave like that. Okay, Snipe is not gonna do the thing for me. Maybe turrets. Hmm. Might be nice. Or just high explosives and go for rupture. I think I'm gonna go with high explosive, yeah. Sounds good enough for me and I'm really curious how to see how this is going to destroy the boss. He must be here at any moment right now. Right? Right? Still nothing. Oh, come on. Oh, cargo train. Big cargo train too. <laughs> Everything just dies. That's how we do it. Oh. We have a little bit too much speed over here. No problem. With the rainbow, we can, ha we can truly manage it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so... Your entry point is somewhere on that side. Uh, okay, this is sort of working. Really slowly. We're gonna go. No, 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 no. Okay, there we are, there we are, there we are. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Perfect. Just destroy. <laughs> nice. I need to be really careful with that. That is not easily done. Um, your primary... Projectors splint into weaker mini projectors. How is that going to work? Like, uh, with my current setup, is it going to do anything? And in the end, it works towards a charge shot. I'm not sure if that is what I want. No. Um, improves hull strength. Maybe that works towards absorption. Reduce hull damage taken from hits by three. Providing protection against rapid light damage. Uh, no. More crash damage and knockbacks attacks. This is not what I need. No. Okay. Uh, Reroll. I. Shield effect radius also not going to work. You know what? Let's go with the turret. I want to see what this thing does. It should automatically trigger if I'm right, or no? I have to do it myself. No issue. Oh, okay. I'm surprised that thing actually took that long to kill. Because, oh boy. Um, let's see, conversions, no. Overclock, increase the rate of fire and rotation speed for advanced constructs near you. Sounds good. If I just stick around to this thing and it fires, sounds good. Oh, okay, that's a little bit too many splinters. So if I just stay near this thing, very near... Okay, this thing is awesome. Although, you take increasing hull damage when you fire, right? I think it did. Um, anyway, let's see. Uh, drones, tactical link, gain hull damage resistance for you and nearby advanced constructs. Oh, that might work, yeah. Um, support special, faster construct assembly speed, rate of fire, maybe. Hmm. 
I'll go with tactical link. It means if I am staying near this thing, I'm gonna get more protection. It's a symbiotic relationship. We're gonna protect ourselves. Uh, although, now you're on your own, friend. Well, there went my turret. There definitely went my turret. Huh. Okay, so... Curious. It means that if I have one on the field, and if it dies, it instantly loses all the cooldown too. Like, in the top left corner, you got the cooldown it takes before I can place another turret down. Uh, get those, please. Thank you. Okay. If we place it right over here, great. Um, let's see, charge shop, no. Shield effect radius. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. No, no, we're gonna reroll. Um, sports check specialist, more rate of fire for my construct and fast assembly speed, yeah. So right now it is placed in the battlefield. That's good enough, right? Should be good enough. Doesn't mean I can place another one. No, I can't because I have my limited construct range. Oh, no. Don't like these things. Don't like these things. So when this thing breaks down, it is completely gone. And I have to wait for it to fully assemble again. That doesn't instantly restart. Which is a shame, but hey, it works. Okay. I think we're good. Are we going to get further than before? Maybe a bit. Are we gonna get further than ever before? Mm, less so. If this... If my turret focuses on one side of the enemies and I focus on the other, we should be okay, right? No? Okay. Of course, we do need to work this out properly between the two of us, because if only one of you... Oh. Yeah, there it went. Hmm, this is not great. Um, let's see. Maybe I should go for this. It's less velocity rate of fire and total to projectile size, but it works. Like, it's more stuff. And more is more damage, right? Oh, hi, friend. Hi, friend. Oh. Oh, for you, I need to get close, don't I? I think I do. Yeah, you are problematic. Oh. I haven't fought you like this before. Like, normally when I face you, I had a much bigger range on my weapons. Like that, sort of. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Just burn you right here. Burn your face off. Good enough. Not amazing, but it works. It works for now. Oh, no, don't you dare. Oh, God. Okay, and we're losing control again of where the hell we are going. Go and fly. Uh, let's see, I... I could use more shield durability. Yes. Give me that shield durability. Because I am going to die without it. Oh, God. At least my shield hasn't been exploded just yet. So I'm still curious to see how that warp is going to function in the long run. Is it going to be good for me? Is it going to be bad for me? Is my turret going to be destroyed? Maybe. Okay. I do like the whole turret stuff, but I think I have to look into more construct power in that case. No, come on, come on, no, go away, oh, with those lasers. Okay, so, my shield broke, I didn't see myself actually teleporting or something, or warping around. I might be just not seeing it, maybe, because right now I just, I don't even know, oh, oh, did you just have... Did that guy's shield... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, and we died again. Did that guy's shield... That is something I'm only learning right now. Did that thing completely reflect my projectiles? Because if it did... Ouch. I was right in there. That hurt. Anyway, um, body gear unlocked. Battery. Plus three projectiles for projectile weapons. Projectiles are divided between broadside cannons, gear added to the random body pool. You know, that sounds cool. That, that works even more with the bullet hell builds. I'm liking the sound of that. Uh, anything else? No? That is another shield. Okay, that's cool. Okay. This also... Yeah, it's not the best, but... Nah, it's still decent. Decent enough. And slowly we're getting better and better. Works well enough for me. <laughs> anyway. 
that is going to be all for today's episode. Unfortunately, we don't make too much progress, but hey, every single victory brings us closer. But anyway, that is all for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Have a very nice day, and remember, have fun. Although a lot of weapons might not seem amazing at first, it only takes a few minutes to try out something new and to expand your point of view. Who would have guessed that a space flamethrower would be that awesome? <laughs>